Hey guys, well, so welcome to another video of mine. Come on, double A. And this is another Chelsea transfer news video, news update for all of you guys regarding the new Brazilian £70 million pound rated wonder kid Jesus Renia Carvalho from Flamenco. We're going to be discussing him and uh, why we're interested and what type of player he is. Going to be giving you guys a stats profile and also CAS update, massive news. Of course, yesterday was our hearing for Court of Arbitration of Sport. Of course, we took FIFA to court and we will hear the verdict in two, three weeks. So I'm going to be getting to delving into detail regarding that. And also Pulisic as well, facing, um, you know, facing race against time to be able to be fit for the Manchester City game. Going to be discussing that. It's going to be interesting what Lampard says in this press conference. But before I do get into all those things, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you're for every time I do upload. And comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each story that I do talk about. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, starting off with the £70 million wonder kid, the 17-year-old from Flamenco, Jesus Rania. Now, multiple clubs have been interested, according to Telegraph, Independent, Chelsea, alongside Arsenal, Bayern Munich and uh, uh, Real Madrid as well. These top profile clubs have been after him. He's supposed to be the next Brazilian wonder kid, the same club that Vinicius Jr. came from as well, and also Rodrigo. These are players, every year you have a Brazilian one, the kids, and um, of course we know Vinicius has high potential, Rodrigo has been fantastic for Madrid as well, and that's why he's rated so highly. Now recently he did sign a brand new contract, contract extension with Flamenco, and now his release clause has been brought down from £70 million to £39 million, so it makes the fee a lot more appeasing, a lot more appealing to these type of clubs, because... Let's be honest, who's going to pay £70 million for a Brazilian wonder kid, a 17-year-old, pretty much my age, who's not even proven himself yet, playing on Flamenco. So no one's going to pay that outrageous fee. £39 million is better for a gamble. You know, he could be the next superstar. So this is why a lot of elite clubs are circling around his signature. Now, regarding Renier Jesus, a lot of you may not know what type of player he is, his position, etc. 1.85 meters, so he's around six foot one, so very, very tall, which is important. It's key. You know, you look at our team, we have a lot of height issues. He'd bring that height, which is really, really good. 72 kilograms as well, so he's quite stocky as well, quite big. So, you know, he's really good. He's got the physicality for the Premier League, which is always crucial. It's all good having the talent and the skills and the tech as well. If you're not adapted or, you know, profiled or ready made for a league, you're going to struggle. Adaptation is very, very key, especially in football. It's another key element that a lot of footballers have to go through. And in so far in 2019, playing 12 matches, he's scored four goals. So decent, averages around a uh, goal every three games. Pretty decent, I guess, especially for a 17-year-old. However, for me, if we're being cynical here, I think that personally, I think that he needs another year of Flamenco, you know, to kind of further his development. And remember, he's not a 21-year-old. He's a 17-year-old, you know. He needs to prove himself more. He needs to improve his end product. He has, he has such a raw talent that he needs to improve elsewhere. But Flamenco, he's number 10. He's number 10. He's a midfielder. He's got techers, talent, you know, very fast, agile on the ball, great, creative as well. He's a proper, world-class potential playmaker. The way he drifts in and out reminds me so much of Oscar and also Kevin De Bruyne, number 10, number 8, defensive work rates, very similar to like a Ruben. Imagine a Ruben off this cheek, a Ruben off this cheek with even more talent and even more techers. That is what Jesus Renier is, the way he links up the play, so agile, so quick, his end product is lethal as well. And of course, he's Brazilian, so the guy has techers anyway. And I think that, like I said, with his height and his physicality, it'd be a big bonus to the squad. And also because of his physicality, it means that he is adapted and suited for Premier League style of football. So for me, like I said, I would all be for the signing, especially, like I said, it was a £70 million release clause. However, the one that kid Jesus has been reduced to £39 million. We'll see if Chelsea at gamble. I've heard that we have scouted him. We're really interested in his services. That's what I heard behind the scenes. But let's see how the story develops. There's a lot of midfielders who are interested in SMS. Serge Malinkovic Savage is the top priority as well, as I mentioned in past videos. However, Renia is another option as well, and alongside Burge, uh, Sander Burgess from... Um, Genk as well um, but like I said let's see how the story develops let's see what happens and this will lead me on to my next point because like I mentioned just now it regards it all hinges and depends on on Cass now let's you know now we're talking about Cass let's swiftly move on to Cass now of course Court of Arbitration Support yesterday was our hearing and give you guys an update Chelsea took FIFA to court now we all know we had the two transfer window ban we couldn't sign anyone or register a single player in the summer transfer window and we had a ban now Cass update like I said the court hearing was yesterday there will not be another court hearing everything was resolved yesterday now Cass will go away 
they'll look at the evidence, they'll resolve the situation, it'll take a couple of weeks to analyze the evidence, understand and come to a conclusion and a verdict. And hopefully they've already estimated, they've come out according to goal and they've already released a statement to Chelsea stating that between two to three weeks, they will come to a conclusion of verdict and that we will hear their answer. So you're looking at around, you know, mid start to middle of December. My guess is around 15 to 20th of December. So you're looking at around three weeks time. So just under a month time, which is frustrating, I know, because a lot of us thought it'd be quite sooner than that. But like I said, the main important thing is that they get this decision correctly and there's hopefully that they will overturn this ban and that we get positive news so that we can sign players in the January transfer window. Like, like I said, of course, if Castro overturn it, it'll be fantastic news for us. We can then start to do business in the January transfer window. But a lot of people have this misconception that, you know, we're under a transfer ban, so therefore we can't sign a single player. That's a complete lie. We could have signed anyone in the summer as well. We can sign anyone we like. We can pay the fee. We can pay the wages. They can even hold the shirt up. They can even sign the contract. But we can't register a meaning that if we did sign them in the summer, they'd literally still be training as we speak. They can't play a single game because they can't be registered. That's what this band is about. It's not about you're not allowed to sign players. It's about registering these players. And so you look at Barcelona as a prime example back in 2015 when they had a transfer ban as well. They signed Arda Turan from Atletico Madrid. And he didn't play for six months. He literally just trained for six months. And for a player, no player's going to want to do that. Hence why it's not a good thing. Because obviously, hence why I wouldn't sign a single player. Because no player, attractive top elite player, is going to want to come and train for six months when they've got alternative options where they can go and start immediately. Nicholas Pepper being a prime example and Jovic being one of them as well. Like I said, even if Kasson overturned this ban, we can still sign players in January. However, we just can't register them. And we could do a Pulisic type deal where we can do it with Sancho where if he Cast still don't overturn it. We can sign a player and then loan them back onto Dortmund or loan them back out to wherever, etc. etc. But like I said, hopefully we do receive positive news from Cass. Let's see what happens on this one. I'm looking forward to it. Personally, I'm quite confident. I've been hearing a lot of things behind the scenes that Marina is very confident as well. The board are very confident that Cass will be overturning the deal. A lot of people behind the scenes that are working at the club that I know as well are very confident he will be overturned. But like I said, confidence means nothing. It depends what the verdict is from Cass. But it's looking positive. I'm confident personally. I'm secretly confident. I think that it will be overturned. But don't take my word for it. I don't know anything. Like I said, the hearing was yesterday. We will receive the, the verdict and the news two to three weeks' time. Let's see if they do overturn the ban. And if they do, be sure that we will, we will spend a lot of money in January. Probably around £150 million, as Matt Law reported a couple of weeks ago. But now let's quickly move on to the last topic for the video. And that is Christian Pulisic race against time to be fit for Manchester City. Now, of course, Frank Lampard will host his press conference tomorrow at one, quarter past 1pm going to be stay tuned so stay tuned for the preview tomorrow evening now of course Pulisic let's hopefully he will be fit he's been our most informed player five goals in three Premier League games could be the first American to score in four consecutive Premier League games so hopefully he is fit and can play and if we have any hope or any chance of getting even a draw nicking a song nicking a result from this game Christian Pulisic has to be fit that is Without a shadow of a doubt, that has to happen. We cannot go into this game without Christian Pulisic. It will be a massive blow. Of course, Willian. Of course, we do have Callum Matador. He hasn't been as hot fire form as Christian Pulisic. But to continue his confidence, to build on his confidence, to help us when it comes to the front three attacking Man City. Of course, Man City are very vulnerable currently. They have a lot of defensive issues. John Stones is injured. Laporte has a long-term injury. So it looks like Fernandinho and Stones or Fernandinho or Otamendi will be the centre-back positions. Uh, Rodri is injured as well. So hopefully it's somewhere that we can exploit, somewhere that it can attack. And if we have Christian Pulisic, who's been on hot fire form, he's going to be crucial and pivotal if we're going to get anything from this game against Manchester City. Let's see what Frank Lampard says. Now, of course, the Sun reported yesterday that Christian Pulisic is unlikely, highly unlikely to play against Manchester City. However, we know that Son are quite unreliable and it has been confirmed that that is untrue. And other more reliable sources have been reporting that Christian Pulisic has a very high chance of making the game for Manchester City. Of course, it's a 5.30pm kickoff. It's looking like a 70-80% to 80 chance that Christian Pulisic will be available for selection for this game. So, let's, hopefully, let's hope that it is true. But like I said, we'll see and find all the injury news and updates in Frank Lampard's press conference tomorrow. So, let's see what happens then. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video there, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not around here. Make sure you hit that notification to provide for every time I do uploads. And comment down below for opinions in the comment section below. Would you take Jesus Renio at Chelsea? Do you think £39 million is too much? Um, and also Cass as well. Do you think it'll be overturned? And do you even want it to be overturned? Leave me your thoughts in the conversation below. But I'm going to wrap up there, guys. I'm going to keep things moving. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.